in recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the Korea Radio Week, it's day two. Okay, how yesterday we have a uh, Melissa. She did a wonderful job. Uh, the AI at the Ikiga. <laughs> oh, wow. She has done a lot of thorough research and also wonderful presentation. In addition to introducing the assessment and also kind of bring out the AI topic, which is lately has been a very, very uh, big trending uh, academically and also career wise. A lot of people worry about the AI, right? Huh? The worry about AI is, uh, is the idea is the AI going to replace the future of the job, uh, uh, creating any impact for the new uh, labor market information in the future, right? Huh? So Melissa, she did a wonderful job. And once the recording for yesterday, uh, her workshop is available, including mine and also Thursday, uh, we will let everybody know. So once the recording will be available, we'll be posting on our career service website as well. Okay, huh? All right, then. so this is my, uh, this is my workshop, uh, day two. And uh, uh, today we are going to learn it together for imposter syndromes. Uh, I am the one who facilitated this, uh, this workshop and I'm going to share my screen and go over. Okay. I hope everybody can see my screen. Okay, huh? So welcome for Korea Ready Week. Not so, yet, Henry, could you, your uh, screen is not showing. It's not showing could, yet. All right. Yeah. You could try again. Try again. Okay, huh? And uh, if uh, any technical side, uh, uh, on my side, any region, uh, we also have our Don Allison and also have Melissa, which I'll introduce in our career counseling team later on. Uh, I am the one who has been uh, facilitating this workshop uh, 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 every semester, uh, talking about the imposter syndrome. Honestly, I do not take the uh, the credit. I'm the expert expert. However, I do want to share everybody is why I'm interested in this topic because imposter syndrome, honestly, I have been feeling like I've been living with imposter syndrome. Even now, okay, even though this is something which is I have been all, uh, I have been kind of uh, as a facilitator talking about everybody on imposter syndrome, uh, how we can uh, uh, having some strategy, I will be able to conquering. But I can tell you imposter syndrome can never goes away. If you feel like this is something can be repeat repetitively happening that's okay that's okay but more important is we need to learn together because is any strategies or any uh specific technique you will be able to rebut okay when the repulsive syndrome coming up and also i want to share everybody is uh with you is looking at all my life okay huh they have a two important events in my life i definitely i can feel like imposter syndrome has been greatly impact on my personal my life and also academic okay huh so i still remember the very first time when my uh uh went to the university i came from a small town you know, and the small town, uh, that time we, when we went to university, it, well, you need to take the exam. And once I, we took the exam, I did a good job, I think. Uh, so I was, uh, I was admitted by one of the university in Taipei. As far as a small town boy, you know, the young man suddenly went to Taipei, the big metro, just looking at my classmates, wow, those people, the way they dress, more fashionable, the way they talk, more sophisticated. So I feel like I'm so inferior myself, you know, feel like, oh, I'm not good enough like those people. However, there are some facts, okay, I do not check in with myself, which is we're going to share what kind of fact we can kind of identify, be able to rebut the imposter syndrome. And then the second more important is when I uh, went to, uh, when I left uh, Taiwan and I came to the United States, uh, when I was accepted by UT, that's another cultural shock, understandable, right? For an Asia country, you know, uh, people are uh, not, not really uh, not, uh, more shy into uh, expressing idea or talking about your opinion, right? And suddenly I was in UT, look at my classmate, wow, why they look so smart. The way they even uh, dare, dare to disagree with the professor and even to in the class be able to speak in front of the class talking about the idea, even though we may not disagree or mean that we may not, we may not agree. But the way I see my classmate, wow. And also as an international student, you know, I feel like my language is not always good enough. You know, uh, maybe I shouldn't say something or maybe uh, they will be laughed at me if I have my Chinese accent when I speak English, right? So this is the two most major events events happening in my life, I personally feel like the imposter syndrome has been a uh, great impact on my uh, self-confidence, my self-esteem, and also my personal my life and also academic performance, of course, right? All right, so 
talking, this is all is my introduction talking about why I am interested for this topic because personally it affects me, I can relate. And I'm sure uh, more, some of you also may have experienced some imposter syndrome, which is we're going to identify the definition of imposter syndrome and what kind of uh, characteristic and also what kind of a situation you might feel like uh, this can be uh, some impact on your uh, performance academically, maybe personal, social, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So today's agenda, introduction overall, talking about impulse syndrome, and oh, I would like everybody to have activity participate together, right, huh? do some questionnaire, respond, discussion, uh, discussion, and also learn about impulse syndrome and how it impacts uh, academic and our career development. And we also want to work in together, brainstorm, have some good discussion, finding, identify the general strategies, helping us you know, uh, overcome the imposter syndrome. And of course, I would like to leave in like a five to 10 minutes if we have any question uh, answer and also sharing your personal experience and the story, okay? Before we moving on the official topic, I would like everyone to think about a story of your own. It can be something a little bit uh, big or something small. Defining something, Define something which is you you think about when you were little kids or until now. Any particular skill, challenging, or project, or particular goal you have set for yourself that you have successfully learned and you did, or you met, or you accomplished, or you mastered. Okay, huh? For example, the very first time I know uh, I learned how to rewrite a bicycle. Okay, right. Or the very first time I know, uh, I, I finally I know how to solve the algebra. <laughs> or the very first time I know how to cook, uh, how to, I know how to bake a cake. Okay, huh? Think about a story, big or small, which is sure you make the effort, you achieve, you complete something, or you actually master some certain skill. Huh? And how do you feel? Feel free in the chat room. Okay, huh? Playing the trumpet. Oh, musician. Okay, huh? The music instrument. That's definitely it, right? Huh? Be able to uh play the music, uh, play the trumpet, okay. entertain yourself, or uh, make everybody, you know, wow, listen to how you play, right? How do you feel? Happy, right? Something which is I did it, right? huh? Running a marathon. Ooh, look at that, right? Huh? <laughs> Physically is the endurement, right? Okay, huh? Learning to ride a motorcycle. I teach the workshop that are relative a new topic. Definitely, right? Okay, huh? See, this is all something which we make effort, right? You want to learn something through the process. Maybe uh, even riding motorbike or even riding uh, the bicycle, right? Sometimes we fail, right? Huh? But because our persistence, we're able to kind of uh, learning from the mistake or learning from uh, the failure. So we kind of make improvement. I also feel like I learned the notes. I was mentioning a music. There you go. Yes, not only just for music instrument, right? Also, additionally, learn about the music, the theory, right? Huh? Solving my very first program. Wonderful. Okay, huh? So this is all we know. You make efforts. You know this is something you have interest to want to learn from maybe from a new hand, right? Huh? All the way until, oh, I know how to do this, or I master uh, some certain uh, the skill set, right? So this is definitely will make effort. How do you feel? Of course, sense of achievement, right? Okay, you got to celebrate. Right? Huh? So what I am talking about, uh, I think about the story of your own bigger data we will be circling back, okay? Right, so let's move on. Okay. Next. Have a piece of paper or maybe just in your mind, there are seven questions. Uh, let me uh, read over the questionnaire okay, uh, and maybe you can identify how do you see yourself, the first question all the way to seven questions. Okay, You can disagree, strongly disagree all the way to, uh, I have five, oh, definitely I can identify, strongly agree, right? Huh? Okay, you can use a piece of paper jotting down. Okay, huh? mentally you can remember. Huh? So the very first question is, do you feel like sometimes you just get lucky passing the test or getting the job? Ooh, I was lucky. Oh, maybe the professor, the answer, uh, I, I got it right. Okay, huh? I was lucky passing uh, the test or getting the job. Ooh, maybe they don't have a many good uh, candidate. Uh, even though I'm not very good enough, I was lucky to get a job. Okay, how do you feel? Okay, huh? Second question. I worry that people may find that I'm not as smart, capable as they think I am. Well, maybe uh, outside be like, oh yeah, I know. But sometimes I feel like I worry people may find out I'm not really actually that smart, not capable of doing things. Okay, huh? People maybe set uh, the expectation. Maybe I think I'm not good enough. I worry about people may finding out. 
how do you see yourself? One to five by the scaling. The, the question is, in some situation, I feel like I'm a fraud at school at work. I fake at what I do. I fake at what I do. Okay. I don't feel like I'm I'm really that good at mastering the skill. I just feel like I feel like I feel I'm like a fraud. Okay. And I worry about being to be found out. Okay. Fourth question. I feel uncomfortable when receiving the praise and compliment given by others because they are just being nice and overestimate me. Okay, huh? I can read it in the number four questionnaire. Okay. <laughs> yeah, especially when I was a little kid. Okay, huh? People were talking about, oh, Henry, you're so doing so good. Oh, good job, Henry. Sometimes I thought to myself, am I really that good as they say they are, I am? Okay, huh? do, how do you feel to yourself? Fifth question. Sometimes I compare myself with other classmates or colleagues and I think they are more intelligent and more hardworking than I am. Oh, comparing you with others, right? Do you do that sometime? Okay, huh? All right. Think about it. question number six. Even though I work hard, but sometimes still doubt my ability to achieve goals. Okay, huh? I make effort, but sometimes still wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I am I putting much effort? Should I? Do more, I doubt my ability. Will I ever achieve my goal? Question seven, people have high expectation of my performance at school, at work, and I constantly, I have a fear of failure or what I may disappoint them. So in other words, sometimes you feel like you give yourself setting such a high bar, right? Huh? Uh, in other words, sometimes you feel like, oh, I need to be perfect, right? Perfectionist. Okay. Huh? All right, we have seven questions. Look at your answer. If you have four or five of those questions, you score three or higher. Okay, huh? Think about it. how many uh, three or four or five answer along those seven questions you have. Okay, huh? Say if you do have more than half, you have a three or four or five, maybe, maybe, huh? You also might ex exhibit uh, imposter syndromes. Next one is I would like everybody looking for the two minutes, a very quick video. And also let me know if you can hear the audio. We can hear. Okay, good. You have worked hard to where you are now. Okay, huh? Any comment? Those two minutes of the very short video clip. What do we see? I felt that one, Henry. That was an amazing demonstration. Great video. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Okay, huh? 
Okay. Yeah, I, could, I could relate to this. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. When I started my career just out of college, um, I had struggling period for like a few years. So I could totally relate to this video. But then I guess you overcome all this as you experience. I mean, oh, over the period you mature. So I think I don't have that problem anymore now. Good. But mm -hmm. I did mm -hmm. have that when I started my career. Yeah. Good. Okay. Huh. So you actually identify you feel that way before. Yes. yes. Good. But maybe after along with your confidence and maybe along with the experience that build out in your career at the job. So if this is something can be slowly, slowly, you can kind of uh, overcome, you can put it away. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Good. All right. Huh. You know, uh, people talking about disability coming from any phone, right? Uh, maybe everybody sitting in the bus, right? Or maybe in the, in the airport, everybody looks very normal, right? But that's why you never know uh, people have some certain uh, certain form of disability. So just like imposter syndrome, right? Everybody at the workplaces, everybody uh, working in a team, right? But you never know, maybe you or maybe your colleagues also feel the same way, just like you are feeling as well, right? But somehow maybe just because you need to thinking okay maybe i'm not good enough i need to mask myself so that's why uh, uh this uh replica <laughs> so he kind of uh, uh kind of uh painting himself you know had to be the green pickle so actually in workplace everybody is green right but i like that at the end you know uh when he be he when he explore himself i'm actually i'm a red pickle <laughs> so actually uh the team's members support him and eventually actually everybody actually kind of start kind of uh, a white Okay, they are uh, green color, uh, showing their true color, right? Huh? So we all individually, okay, we all make the effort at workplaces. Unfortunately, sometimes the imposter syndrome can be have a great impact on your performance because you need to think, I need to, I, I cannot fail people's expectation. I had to be do my best and I had to be perfect. So that kind of pressure is just kind of, uh, 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 just a, uh, just unconsciously go keep it uh, haunting your mind. You need to do this, do this, do this, right? Huh? Yes. So this is just a quick uh, video. I kind of share everybody. You are not alone, even though uh, you feel like uh, this is am I only the one experiencing these experiences? I can tell you, actually not. Maybe your classmate, maybe your coworkers, everybody, maybe also some someone, maybe also experience the same as you feel as well. Okay. Huh? All right, let's go over the definition. Okay, huh? What is imposter syndrome? Okay, huh? Imposter syndrome is the persistent fear, okay, the anxious, okay, and the and false belief that individual psychologically internalized idea of being incapable or unworthy of their success or potential. Despite their accomplishments suggesting the country, okay, huh? That kind of persistent fear. I was, I should not, okay, I should not fail, okay, huh? I, I couldn't make mistake, okay, huh? people have high expectation, I want to keep up what I'm doing, right? I somehow even anxious, may, may worry about, I'm not good, doing good enough, okay, huh? uh, you kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, dis, uh, 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 disregard your own uh, success, right, and potential intelligence, okay, huh? honestly, uh, according to uh, some uh, literature review, okay, huh? you will be, uh, be able to kind of see a lot of uh, different uh, article, uh, literature review or talking about and it's estimate 70 percent of people experience imposter syndrome at some point in their life okay huh maybe when you were little uh when you're little kids or maybe at you you were teenagers or maybe you at workplaces or maybe you were now as a college student or maybe you are now uh, in workplaces right so 70 percent imagine seven out of ten people uh, uh, at some point of their life or maybe can, can be still ex experiences the imposter syndrome uh, along uh, maybe you were uh, you, you were different life stages right okay, huh? see how invasively it has been affect a lot of people okay, huh? uh, when you Google, you will see even a lot of celebrity uh, like Tom Hanks or like uh, Maya Angelou or, uh, and also maybe Lady Gaga. You will see a lot of celebrity even also talking about they also experience imposter syndrome. So even celebrity, they also feel that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how does imposter syndrome impact us, right? Okay. Huh? Like I said, because we experience the anxiety, the stress, and that will be kind of a, a sometimes a, a, a overshadowing our own performance, right? Or sometimes just because the consistent anxiety and the worry, so kind of make us cannot maybe focusing on our work or maybe focusing on our study. 
because your mindset is totally occupied. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough, right? Huh? So this definitely have a very detrimental impact uh, on our performance academically, our personal life, social, uh, social skill, and also uh, can be uh, uh, your career uh, development. Huh? So they develop, you know, false belief. You keep saying, you're telling yourself, I'm not good enough, right? Or I'm not smart enough. Uh, negative thoughts or feeling uh, such as, okay, huh? I feel like, like a left hand, uh, left, left side. Okay. I feel like I'm a fake at school work people. And people were finding out someday. I'm just not smart or capable as others. Have you heard this kind of comment? Can be coming from yourself or maybe coming from your classmate or maybe your sibling? <laughs> it's very often, it's very often uh, on academic side, right? Huh? How often we hear students talking about, oh, tears, I hate it, right? Huh? I'm, I'm never good in the mathematics. I'm so bad in the math. I'm never good uh, in uh, literature. I'm never good uh, in biology, right? Huh? So sometimes the can be can be the first belief very deeply rooted. It's just not very good in doing science, or maybe you're not very good at doing uh, mathematics, right? Huh? So this kind of deeply rooted the first belief can kind of overshadowing uh, your actual performance. In the middle, it was just luck. Okay, <laughs> I was very lucky. Huh? I passed my job, my test, right? Huh? And got my job. Okay. And so sometimes people also say, okay, huh? oh, people have high expectation of me, so I must not fail. The the whole idea, I must not fail pressure yourself. I need to keep out those high five bar all the way to the five bar, okay, huh? Uh, once you kind of feel like, no, 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 I need to study harder. I need to work harder, right, huh? And right, on the right-hand side, okay, huh? You kind of discredit your own success, your own achievement. You're thinking people just being nice uh, when they uh, compliment you, okay? Oh, you did a good job. You are such a wonderful person. You're helping people, right, huh? No, I don't deserve a compliment. Uh, maybe people just being nice, right, huh? Okay, huh? Even though truly uh, people truly uh, kind of compliment you, appreciate what you have been done, uh, what you've been doing at work, right? Or I don't think I will ever success, right? And this is even worse, right? I don't even think I'll ever success. You already put yourself already kind of uh, uh, ascribe yourself. There's a circle you can never be able to step in out, right? Okay, huh? All right. Now, how does imposter syndrome okay impact you? Okay, huh? Career development, job seeking particularly talking about this week is the career ready week, right, huh? Uh, so that's why, uh, that's kind of just zooming the subject, okay, huh? Can be, uh, can be have an impact on your academic performance, right? And the academic performance regarding to, uh, you can excel, uh, you're doing well in your majors and all the way for the long term, uh, how does the impact syndrome can even impact your career development and even job seeking behavior, right? There are so many examples later on we can kind of come up, okay, to share, okay, huh? So, See, it introduces your self-doubt and restrain your own strength, ability, and potential, right, huh? Just like yesterday, okay, huh? Melissa talking about explore your own strength, identify your intelligence, your aptitude, right, huh? So you were so surprised, right? After taking the assessment, they actually you had some certain area or you had never thought about you are good at by having the assessment to kind of uh, showing, oh, you are very good at maybe numerical. You are very good at maybe in vocabulary. It, that is the you truly performance, right? But sometimes people just kind of disregard. That's my uh, that that is my truly ability because you already introduce yourself. You self doubt. Ah, I don't think I will be able to do well. If even I want to go with the nursing program, but I don't think I will be able to study a uh, biology well, right? Huh? I won't be able to pass the classes. You have not even tried. You already introduced your self doubt, restraint. Okay, huh? You uh, your own potential. Be able to uh, uh study the, some certain subject or maybe uh building a career you 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 interested in, right? Okay, huh? And lead you to the act without confidence in your own learning and the performance. Like earlier we said, oh, I'm not smart enough, right, huh? Uh, people are smarter than I am, right, huh? So I don't think I will be able to do well, okay, huh? Limit your career choice and employment opportunity. How often we hear students say, oh, there's a good job posting. I feel like I, 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 I feel like I should apply, but I don't think I have the year experiences. Or I don't think, you know, uh, people ever uh, even call me for interview, right, huh? You have not even tried. Okay, huh? you already kind of uh, limit your own self, or maybe uh, you have been doing uh, the admin uh, uh, the admin work, maybe working, say, working for ACC, working for some certain job. Uh, maybe you started from the ground zero. You have maybe like a three or five year experiences. 
it's about time for you to continue career advancement, maybe seeking another better position or maybe seeking a better pay, right? But you kind of say, no, no, no. There are way more people smarter than I. I think I, I shouldn't even apply, right? Huh? So you limit your career choice and employment opportunity, right? Uh, uh, I'm a foreigner, you know, English is not very good enough, right? Huh? I don't think I will ever get a job, right? Huh? Uh, because you self-doubt, okay? even though you have the same degree, even though you might be very smarter than some other people, maybe in IT, uh, maybe in healthcare, maybe engineering, or maybe you are good uh, in literature, creative side, right? Huh? But you kind of thinking, okay, competing with American, right? I don't think I will have a good job uh, opportunity because I'm foreigner, I have an English accent, uh, maybe I don't know how to express myself, right? Okay, huh? That's why I always tell students, uh, especially international students, a lot of time international say, okay, I don't think I can find a job because my English is not so good, you know. And I always tell students, you know, even American, they still need to look for a job. <laughs> so, I, so I think it's more important to focus on your skill set, your qualification, and of course, right, huh? maybe you need to study or to get a degree as long as that is the degree, uh, meet the minimum requirement, right? Okay, huh? You also may discount your own accomplishment and success. Ah, everything was all by luck. Okay, huh? I I I got this job or I did this one. Oh, maybe because you know professor gave me high grade, right? Huh? I curve the score. Uh, curve the grade. Huh? You discount your own accomplishment and success. You might even feel unhappy with the job in a career choice. Why? Because you don't want to step in out. Right? Huh? Uh, I shouldn't because uh, I am not good enough, you know, or I shouldn't because, you know, uh, uh, this is some, This is the job. Maybe I just need to study or maybe working for another few more years, right? So that can kind of result in internally you are not happy with your job, right? Even though you have so many different opportunities, you will be able to advance, right? Uh, applying, right? Huh? Like I said, Again, you retrain yourself, you ascribe in your own circle. I feel like, oh, I shouldn't step in out, step out, right? Huh? So that's what also can cause it unhappy okay, huh? about your job or your career choice, right? Okay, huh? Any other question or any comments so far uh, up to here? How do you see yourself? All the scenario, okay, huh? all the situation we have been identified, we have been uh, discussed so far, do you see yourself or can you relate yourself for some certain uh, situation at work, at class? Okay. Hmm? Feel free to put a comment. Okay, huh? All right, so then let's move on. All right, so we have someone. Okay, huh? Understanding the feeling. <laughs> and I have a work on my mindset constantly. Yes, it is a mindset. Okay, remember we say internally, psychologically, you have been uh, uh, you have been telling yourself, okay, huh, uh, in a negative thoughts, right, huh? I can relate to them. Oh, oh, Jenny. Okay, uh, thank you. You are not alone. <laughs> you are not alone. Okay, huh? Right. The next one. Mm -hmm. Now. <laughs> We all talk about you self-negative, talk to yourself, you talk down yourself, you don't have a confidence, right? Uh, you don't feel like you are uh, competitive enough at the workplaces or at school, right? So how can we build confidence in you, right? Sometimes you're like a, uh, in, in, uh, in part of syndrome, like a, a fearful, uh, a fear, uh, like, like a dragon, right? Huh? Uh, fire, right? Huh? Now, how can we build in the confidence? Let's do it together. I might invite you, okay, huh? think about any scenario, right, huh? How do we build in our confidence? Before that, let's think about some certain situation or example where people may exhibit imposter syndrome and how does this show up in their job search, work performance, career exploration development, career change advancement, career decision, okay, huh? Let's think about the left, uh, look at the left hand side, okay? Can you think about a few situation example, okay, huh? Job search, right? Job search, yes. Okay, huh? Of course. Mm -hmm. So many job posting, right? Of course, typically we start looking for job posting. Right? And you start already kind of, oh, the point is, okay, when you're looking for job search, okay, huh? You start thinking, okay, wow, this one requires how many year experiences or right? preferred uh, education, et cetera, et cetera, right? You already start kind of internally, oh, I don't have. Okay, or uh, maybe I only have associate degree, maybe those who really prefer the bachelor degree. There are way more people with a bachelor degree competing with me, right? Huh? So job search, right? Huh? How about work performance? Career exploration, right? applying to college, 
Yes, okay. but applying to university. I want to go to UT, but people say you don't have a many chance, you much chance getting to UT because UT have a very higher GPA. Well, yeah, that's, that can be re, that, that can be a fact, right? But you have never tried. Maybe your GPA is 3, 5, 3.7, but you think people only have to have a 4 point get into UT, right? So that's already kind of psychological kind of pushing. Oh, don't even consider UT, right? Yes, applying for the college. Decision paralysis for going to the college, right? Oh, college is right for me. Or maybe I've been working, uh, I've been have a big gap because taking care of family, right? Or maybe I'm a stay home, a parent, right? So I want to get back to the uh, the, uh, the the job market. Uh, before that, I need to come back to school. Or, but I have been, uh, 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 I have been away from academically like 10 years, 15 years. I, I'm not even so sure, right? Is college a good decision? for me right huh yeah also like uh, finding out which major is right for me uh, in the tech industry right people are talking about yeah it engineering business right healthcare but am i good enough do i have the skill set or i even need to come to acc maybe study associate degree uh maybe in it or maybe healthcare do do i think myself good enough right huh so this is all the experiences right okay, huh and also finding out what is right for me in the tech industry yes uh, career changes oh that's even right people have been working in uh, uh working in some certain uh career maybe like a five ten years right but you start feeling this is not fulfilling anymore I don't feel uh, this uh, this job uh, bring me uh, the happiness or a sense of achievement anymore. Should I consider job career change, changing another job? But oh, you know, I've been away from some sort of industry. So should I go with a career change? But even career change, you uh, where to? Uh, which is a new career path is good, good right for me, right? Uh, you know what? Maybe forget it. I just uh, settle down while I'm being working now, right? Yes. Okay. Huh. So many different kind of scenario. So many different type of story you already telling yourself before we even try, right? Huh? So this is very typically, very typically imposter syndrome. Okay, huh? How does imposter syndrome start kind of having impact on our decision making? Imposter syndrome, how is impact about our own confidence, right? Or this is something which is affects uh, my own uh, 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 discount, uh, uh, discredit, uh, my own uh, disregard, my previous achievement. I have been met so far all the way until now, right? Okay, huh? Yes, thank you for those good example scenario, right? Huh? Now, what are some strategies you can think you can might help control or manage your negative thought, behavior, or false belief? Uh, earlier, uh, this uh, student, um, you mentioned about you used to feel that way, right? Uh, but now you don't feel that way uh, because uh, earlier maybe we already shared a little bit kind of an example, right? Maybe you feel like, oh, you have accumulated more experiences now, right? Oh, or maybe you are getting used to your job skill needed for performing this current uh, job role, right? Oh, yes, maybe it can be uh, accumulated experiences. Uh, maybe uh, through uh, all the projects you have done, you're being receiving good credit, right? Do you still can think of some any other strategies? That's brainstorm. So this is our uh, open discussion brainstorming time. Okay, huh? Can you think of any strategies you can you think might be help you to control or manage your negative thought, behavior, or false belief? How do you rebut? Okay, huh? So uh, we have one say racism is alive, or is it? Yes, undeniable, right? We can say, oh, there's no racism in the United States or in in the world, right? Racism, it is well, just like ageism at workplaces. And this is undeniable, right? Okay, huh? But sometimes, just like I said, okay, oh, maybe I'm coming from uh, uh, the non, non mainstream background. For example, I'm coming from Taiwan or coming from a uh, non stream. Again, consider my language skill, consider my uh, ch uh, my English I have accent, right? Or consider the cultural things. I may not good enough, you know, be able to handle some certain interview question. I'm taking example, right? Huh? Yes. So racism and also uh, the ageism, right? Or sexism all can be existing. That's undeniable truth, right? In the places. But as far as how do we rebut and how do we kind of uh, be working on uh, this uh, uh, this kind of uh, belief, okay, false belief, okay, huh? Maybe make a uh, stepping out, make an improvement, right? Okay, huh? So uh, or another uh, feedback, right? Always tell, okay, take uh, take it or uh, leave it until you make it, right? Uh, oh, I'm uh, faking it, but you never know. Maybe you do have some certain skill. But also some people, or like Jenny said, okay, it does take the physical and the mental toll on you, so to keep the uh, to in the facade, right? So how do we do? Okay, huh? Do you feel like you do need to learn some certain skill to be able to prove you can then, or you just continue faking until you uh, uh you will be able to make it, right? Huh? And also keep an ego <laughs> file, right? Yes. 
Okay, huh? You can do it. You have been coming this far, right? I'm still in the same class, like everybody taking this pre-calculated classes. That means everybody have the good, uh, at the same uh, starting point, right? Okay, huh? Yes. And also checking, summarizing your accomplishments for what you have been feeling important, right? Huh? When you're feeling incompetent, right? Huh? Think about, no, you did this, right? You passed the TSI, right? Huh? You passed the even pre-calculus. That's why you are taking calculus one, give example, right? Huh? Sorry, faking until you make it. <laughs> and the support group, yeah, people feeling uh, the same way, right? Uh, remember, you are not alone, right? Have a support group it would be nice, you know. Everybody share experiences, right? Support each other, and also our career council ACC are here to help. Never getting those changes and development strategies. Thank you for Trish for that comment. <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you for all the all the comment and also sharing your own experiences. I really appreciate. I appreciate. Okay, huh? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Strategies. A lot of you already are uh, hit the target, right? Huh? Let's take a look. There are multiple strategies available to help you overcome imposter syndromes. Okay, this is just an example, not limited to, right? Huh? This is just kind of I come up uh, uh, with a lot of different kind of uh, article talking about how you can conquer, overcome imposter syndrome. So this is more like a condensed, a kind of summarizing some some commonly the strategies, uh, different article or different kind of a journalism, uh, a journal okay, uh, I've been finding uh, after the literature review, right? Huh? Now take a look for those strategies that can help you moving forward and overcome your barrier, okay? Huh? Talk it out, identify the stressor, create a network of support. There you go. Earlier, someone talking about have a support group, right? Talking about instead of just kind of burying yourself, right? Having someone, maybe find a mentor, like who is the second point, right? Finding a mentor or share your idea, share your worry, okay? Huh? Share your belief, why I all feel this way, right? With the, maybe with the peers, maybe with a family, or maybe your classmates, someone you feel like you can relate to, or maybe like having a mentor, right? Huh? Identify the stressor. I have been feeling this way all the time since I was uh, I was come to the very first semester UT uh, come to uh, the ACC right. I've been always feeling this way every semester. When I taking a new subject, a new classes, I will feel like I am not so sure I will be able to pass it right. Right, talking about the stresses and this is what have been always haunting me. I always feel like I'm being I'm being kind of pressed down. Okay, uh, identify myself. You know, this is something which is I always feel like I cannot uh, make a, a progress. Uh, 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 academically because I always worry about okay huh I'm not good enough for math I'm not very good uh maybe uh English writing okay huh and create a network of support everybody share this experiences everybody can kind of support create a support and network of support this is definitely very important you get a person in the level of support having a mentor a coach to acquire objective clarity and seeking advice right you are the insider that's why you self-talk to yourself, or oh, I'm, I'm not very good enough. You kind of, uh, you internalize your psychologically, you always kind of saying or uh, telling yourself, right? I just never good enough. I'm not, in, I'm not com capable of doing something, right? Huh? So this is very, sub uh, this is very subjective. Uh, uh, you talking about yourself, right? So having a mentor, a coach, someone know you, they will be able to provide you more objective clarity and seeking advice, right? Hey, it's not necessary. Maybe someone outsider, you know, recognize your performance. Someone as maybe your instructor or maybe your coach or maybe your, uh, uh, maybe your family member, they can tell you, no, you have been always been uh, doing so well, you know, uh, in this, right? And look at your uh, look achievement uh, when you were high school until now, right? So someone maybe give you more objective clarity, okay, huh? Reality check track and the least achievement and success. So this is back to earlier, the very first uh, the question I want everybody to think about. Remember all the successful story you have from a little skill all the way to the big achievement, right? You made the effort, you have the goal, you're working on it, you accomplish it, you complete the task, you learn it, right? So this is what we say, the reality check, right? Just like when I say, when I was uh, uh, from a little a small town, go to Taipei, I went to Taipei, right? And, but I forgot reality check is, you know, I have the same score being placed to this university. I am English major, right? So everybody is belong to the same places according to your academic performance. 
And that is something which I, at that time, I did not reality check myself, right? I only see all oh, those classmen, they are coming from Taipei. Wow, they are more sophisticated. The way they dress is more fashionable. I only looking external, the facts, right? But I forget, you know, I forgot to tell myself, you know, we are still the same major, the same university. Just like when you look at your classmen, you are very first semester, you are taking introduction engineering. That means everybody share the same interest. That's why everybody in the introduction classes, right? Or maybe you are in the uh, you are in a human anatomy physiology two already. That means you already passed an anatomy physiology one. So everybody is the same prerequisite. So everybody come to the same class. So that is what we're talking about reality check, right? Now, for example, give example. Uh, professor have a, uh, everybody take the same classes. Now you get your feedback. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe it's a little quiz. You have a 75. How do you see 75? Ooh, 75, maybe like under average, right? Below average, right? 75. But do you know, maybe the full score is 80, right? Or maybe the whole classmate, everybody, the normal distribution, everybody pretty much uh, fall under maybe like a 72 to 78 ranges. So it's relatively, if looking of just looking for the 75, you compare with the 75 out of 100, but reality can be 75 out of 80. Or all the classroom, you know, most of people force under 72, 78. Of course, there are always some certain very extremely smart students, maybe score 85 or 87, right? But when you're looking for the big pictures, everybody, the same group, everybody the score from 72, 78. I'm 75. So that relatively put you actually you above average or maybe in average group, right? So that's what we're talking about. A lot of time we're only looking for external factors, the external, okay, huh? But we we'll forget to ask, you know, is that true? Okay, huh? Or is this something which is actually reflecting on the reality, right? Huh? So that's a reality check. And also kind of counting your achievement earlier Melissa mentioned about, right? Think about jacking down all those little achievements, big or small, right? So this is kind of see, wow, you will be so surprised. You have made this far already, right? Since from high school all the way to college until now in the workplaces now, okay, huh? Moving forward, expand expertise and utilize strength and talent. You know, do you have the skill set? Do you have the training or not, right? So let's identify imposter syndrome versus you really, you do not have the qualification. That can be different things, right? So for example, when we're looking for the job posting, all right, huh? or looking for the universal admission requirement, okay, huh? Do you have a good GPA? Yes, okay, huh? Do you have those classes that needed to be transferred to go to the major? Check, check, check. Just like in your workplaces, right? Okay, huh? Is this job required to familiar with Adobe? Do you have the training? Have you taken courses before? Yes, yes, right? Or this job require two year experiences. Do you have two year experiences? from entry level all the way until now? Yes, yes, right? So if you do say, if, if you if you do see from some certain job posting or maybe like admission requirement, if you do identify, oh yeah, that is one I do not have. And that is the fact, right? And this is why we're talking about, if you do see, oh, this one required to know more about us uh, using the uh, AutoCAD. Oh, I have not that skill. Yes, and that is the time we do need to expand expertise, taking the classes, right? To learn something new. But if you do see yourself, yes, I took the classes, I'm familiar with, say, Adobe Photoshop, or maybe I'm familiar uh, with the Excel or the PowerPoint creation. Yeah, I do have skill, right? Check, rebut, right? Huh? Utilize train and talent to maximize, to maximize your potential, right? Huh? You, what you are good at, right? Maximize, okay, your strength. And also, you want to set a tenable goal, right? Okay, huh? one at a time, you all have heard about SMART goal, right? Make sure it's specifically, make sure it's, uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's attainable, right? Huh? And also attainable, okay, huh? a measurable, uh, maybe a short term, five weeks, like seven weeks, I want to achieve this step or, two, or, or even bigger, right? Huh? And also uh, realistically, it's workable or not. And also the timeline, I want to get it done, uh, a deadline or maybe uh, the next this semester, Okay, right, huh? Set a tenable and one at a time. Once you achieve the small step achievement, go celebrate yourself, okay, huh? Acknowledge your ability to increase your confidence. Yes, okay, huh? You are good enough. You are enough, right? Acknowledge your ability. So this is something which you need to kind of, uh, maybe from outside, maybe have someone to tell you, okay, huh? Maybe from your coach. 
or can be specific. You just need to remember all the story you think about. Okay, how far you make this way, right? Huh? To think about you acknowledge it. you have the ability to ability, right? Huh? Kind of help you boost your confidence, right? Huh? Set up an accomplishment, no matter big or small. This quiz, wow, oh, you did a good job, or maybe your meeting, you did a good job. Set up yourself, you know. Go enjoy maybe uh, watching a good movie or maybe uh, treat yourself a little bit nice, okay, huh? Uh, eating out with family, okay, celebrate your achievement. Or maybe you graduate, such a big important uh, stage in your life, right? You finish your uh, certificate, your associate degree, or being you accepted by UT, or maybe you got a job, right? To celebrate, to celebrate. More important is try not to compare with others. Because when we compare with others, we try to compare those who are, have a higher performance in a high position, right? So if you compare, you will never end, right? So don't compare with your others. Instead, comparing with yourself, do I make a progress comparing yesterday, right? Have I learned something new knowledge or have I mastered this chapter of learning, okay, from the class, uh, from the class uh, teacher taught last semester, la uh, last week, right? And then emphasizing on self-compassion practice. So that's why earlier we talking about you talking to yourself, I'm not good enough, right? I have to be perfect, right? You give yourself a lot of stress, you give a lot of pressures, right? So you are always living under the stress, right? The worry, the anxious, the, the, the anxious feeling, right? So sometimes we have to be more uh, nicer to ourselves, right? Huh? Be compassionate. Okay, huh? It's okay to make mistakes. So that's why be compassionate about yourself. You know? Forgive yourself. You know? Even little mistake. More important, have you learned something from this small uh, mistake or this error, right? More important, you correct it. Yeah, so next time you will never make the same mistake. So that is the progress. Compassion. Okay? Be nice. Forgive yourself. Even everybody can make mistakes, right? Okay, huh? And also earlier talking about a growth mindset. It's a whole mindset you need to kind of reframe talking about, uh, talking, uh, looking at the things, right? Or talking about yourself, right? So growth mindset, forgiveness. This is the two uh, advice, okay, huh? I would like to share everybody to be more uh, self-compassion about yourself, okay, huh? So I have uh, two comments, right? Okay, huh? Uh, let me see. Smart goal, somebody. Yes, smart goal. Attainable, attainable, right, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the, 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 the side, the, the PowerPoint, yeah, I think we, we, we can share with everyone. Okay, later on, okay, huh? Mm. You are not alone. Remember, sometimes I feel like I need to finish this all by myself. College, I never get myself, right, huh? Since I come to college, you know, I go to school by myself, you know, I study by myself, okay, huh? Or even looking for a job, I typical way, uh, looking for a job, uh, or, uh, I just uh, I just don't know how I can decide which major, right? But I don't know. I'm anxious about how 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 do I get from here? Instead of anxious, instead of feeling lost, right? Remember, you are not alone, okay, huh? Especially when imposter syndrome start kind of overshadowing your performance, overshadowing your personal functioning, right? Huh? So you will have a lot of uh, resources. Uh, this is just within ACC resources we can identify. So many available, right? Huh? And you can re always rely on those people or uh, those profession, okay, huh? Here to help you. Career services, right? How you can build in, okay, you are uh, uh, kind of uh, beefing out your resume. Huh? or how you can kind of uh, uh, improve uh, your interview skill huh? or how you can uh, uh, looking for uh, job searching smarter way versus, you know, harder way, right? Huh? Working smarter, okay, searching for job in a more, uh, more efficient way. Okay, huh? Or sometimes maybe the imposter syndrome already kind of impact, okay, has some uh, a, a too too much uh, too much impact already kind of uh, uh, impair your daily function. For example, I feel in constant, I feel depressed, I feel conscious, I feel like a restless, anxious, or even angry, right? Huh? Clinic counseling team can help you. Academic coach uh, academically help you to uh, help you improve your study skill, note taking, and also maybe setting the goal. Student life, of course, right? A wonderful place for you to be able to make some connection with the peers, uh, looking for members, and also participate in different kinds of extracurricular activity, volunteer, uh, leadership, uh, learning opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. Student governance association, even further, be able to make an impact, okay, huh? make a changes, uh, uh, join student governance association, be able to make an even bigger uh, decision, uh, kind of helping, you know, college. 
right? Huh? Improve our services for the student. Academic advisor definitely have a good relationship with them. So they will be the one who help you to track in your uh, degree progress, be able to help you to right, find in the right classes, right? And of course, we also have a transfer, uh, especially help you kind of do your transfer planning. Mentor, leadership program, or opportunity, and of course, your professor and other staff, we are all here to help you, right? Okay. Huh. So again, you are not alone. So many different places and so many different resources you will be able to. Okay. Huh. All right. Whew. I know I talk a lot, right? So we still on the target. Okay. Huh. Now you have learned about imposter syndrome, right? Huh. Tell me about your understanding. What is your takeaway from this workshop? How we apply what you have learned today for your future learning or job searching, career development, or life in general? Any question, comment, or anything you'd like to share with us? Here is everybody, your time. Okay, huh? If anything, you say, I have uh, uh, I, I attend Henry's uh, this workshop, right? Huh? Is anything you can see yourself today? What will be your takeaway from this workshop? I do hope uh, you find something you have takeaway. Track your accomplishments and stop comparing to others. That I have been telling myself too. You are not alone. Definitely, all the resources are available. Okay, huh? Just need to know where is the resources, right? Even though I don't know where I can find. You are always welcome. Come to see Active Advisor, Career Services, you know, or go to Student Life. We are all will be very happy to help you, okay, to never get through your college life and also uh, including all your job searching skill, right? Okay, huh? And Melissa say how impact syndrome was uh, normalized, right? People thinking, yeah, it's normal, it's okay, but it's not okay. Actually, this is something which you will be able to conquer, to overcome, okay, huh? Everyone sharing the story, the strategy. Yes, I appreciate everybody, huh? For your truly, uh, your honest, uh, your feedback as well, okay, huh? Remember, I earlier at the beginning, I told myself, right? I, I said, even I sometimes feel like I'm still living with imposter syndrome. Sometimes I still feel like I'm living with imposter syndrome, right? Huh? More important is you need to identify, acknowledge, oh my God, <laughs> my imposter syndrome is coming to, coming to kind of uh, uh, try to uh, 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 try to eat me. <laughs> no, okay, huh? I have the way I can rebut, okay, huh? No, okay, huh? I'm willing to be able to see kind of say, oh, is this true? reality check right or why do you feel this way it's because it's because i'm the only one or some other colleagues or some other cousin may feel this way right do some reality check okay huh yes like i said sometimes impulse syndrome can be uh you you think you will come but something coming back at some point of your life i'm sure you more or less you might still feel like oh impulse syndrome is still coming back okay huh so more important do you have your strategy do you have the uh uh, you have your own way to working on it. Ask for help, definitely, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. And of course, not only you're talking about in general academic current uh, career development, even your life in general, right? Uh, in uh, in life in general, uh, there are so many different kind of uh, challenging in our life, right? Can be uh, can be along our uh, it uh, can be coming, right? Huh? Uh, at your different life stages, you have different kind of life challenging, right? Huh? And also maybe social uh, from the social perspective, right? You also have uh, you also have different so many opportunity meeting with people or maybe uh, your significant other in the futures, right? This all can be imposter syndrome also can be happening along uh, your uh, dating, along your social life, or, or along your life uh, journey, right? Okay. We are here to help. Let's zoom in our career services, right? Schedule appointment. Earlier, Trish already uh, sent a link. Uh, this is also a QR code, also automatically bring you to our uh, the uh, appointment request. You'll be able to uh, meet our career service specialist, helping you to do the resume review, job interview, interview uh, practice, job search, and working with the career counseling team we help you to identify or oh, what is can be the good career might be for you to explore to learn more about it or career planning even we can do career assessment for those who totally feel lost i can i don't even know what's my strength right so this is where career assessment coming we might be can be helpful for you to learn more about yourself okay huh career and transfer services we have our physical office which is in highland 4000 building and of course you can also go to acc website slash career a qr code Okay, huh? Thank you for joining today for the imposter syndrome. Uh, I'm Henry. I'm a central Austin 
Uh, Don Allison, she is the one who primarily working for the north and uh, north and north and also helping out for the Highland and also uh, Rio Grande. Melissa, she primarily is uh, working uh, as a virtual meeting. Okay, huh? So we we are all here to help you. Okay, huh? And uh, just uh, contact, reach out to us, reach out to us. Okay, right, huh? I know I talk a lot, but also sometimes love to share the music. 